Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new cards that will possibly be released in Episode 5. This information is based on what's released as part of Episode 5 in the China server. There's no official patch note yet but this might give us an idea on what's coming and what cards we should save up for for crafting. We'll cover cards that can be crafted from King Pori, as well as cards that can be obtained from the new field monsters. We'll further organize them per type, whether it's a weapon card, offhand card, and so on, so you may easily choose which one to prioritize per category. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's first start with the cards that can be crafted from King Pori. First up, we have the Wraith Star card. This is an accessory card which will increase the stun and freeze chance by 25%. It will also increase the stun and freeze duration by 25%. This will be a very useful card in PvP for job classes that rely on freeze and stun to immobilize their enemies, such as Knights with Bash, Bards with Frost Joker, and Dancers with Scream. You may use two of these in both of your accessories to have the 50% increase in stun and freeze chance. Crafting this card gives plus 8 magic attack. The ingredients for crafting this card are 5 Wraith card, 300 gram dust, and 500k zenny. Up next, we have 2 headgear cards. The Isis Star card will give less 5% variable cast time and additional 5% fire property attack. This card can help wizards to achieve the no cast meteor storm, especially those who use sacrifice book instead of Orleans server in their offhand. However, do consider that this card will replace Sealed Apocalypse card in your headwear which will decrease your ignore MDEF stat. The ingredients for crafting this card are 10 Isis cards, 500 gram dust, and 1 million zenny. Next, another headgear card is the Agira Star card. This will give plus 2 on all stats and plus 3% physical attack. In addition, when doing normal attacks, there is a 5% chance to fear the target for 2 seconds. On the other hand, when doing skills, there is a 15% chance to fear the target for 2 seconds. Note, however, that there is a 10 second cooldown on the fear effect. Physical damage dealers will benefit from this card as the fear status is a good way to immobilize enemies in PvP and WoW. Crafting this card gives plus 12 attack deposit. The ingredients for crafting this card are 8 Agira cards, 800 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Next, we have 4 armor cards. First up is the Nightmare Star card. This reduces the cooldown of the Warlock skill White Barrier by 3 seconds. The ingredients for crafting this card are 10 Nightmare cards, 500 gram dust, and 1 million zenny. Another armor card is a Tokebi Star card. This gives plus 15 crit def and another plus 15 crit if the armor is defined to plus 10 and above. The ingredients for crafting this card are 3 Togepi cards, 200 gram dust, and 500,000 zenny. Next, the perfect dancing card will reduce the physical and magic damage received by players within 5 meters when a bard or dancer is performing. The reduction is 1% for every 800 max SP of the performer. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Mark card, Punk card, Rod of Frog card, 600 gram dust, and 1.5 million zenny. Lastly, for the armor cards, we have the Book of Sage card. This will give plus 1% gear attack speed and ignore and death for every 20 points of agility. Notably, the deposit reward is plus 3% attack speed if another Book of Sage card is equipped. Do note that these effects will only apply to the Sage class. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Anulian card, Metaller card, Geographer card, 500 gram dust, and 1.5 million zenny. Next, we have two footgear cards. First up, the Shadowless card allows assassins to deal plus 10% more damage to a poison target. In addition, it has a 5% chance to stun a poison target for 3 seconds while attacking. This will be good for both PvE and PvP. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Hunterfly card, Argyopi card, Highland Parasite card, 500 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. <laughs> Lastly, the Moving Shelter card allows a paladin to move after using the Selfless Shield skill. Crafting it gives plus 12 attack on lock reward while depositing it gives plus 12 magic attack. 
The ingredients for crafting this card are the Sohi card, Ferris card, Christmas cookie card, 500 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Next, we have the set of field cards that can be obtained from the new monsters in the new maps. To know more about the new city in Niflheim and the new mobs, I'll have the preview video linked down below. First up, we have two offhand cards. The Tombstone Geek card will give plus 10 death and M death and plus 2% death and M death, which is good for survivability. Then the Loot card gives plus 10% damage to undead element monsters and less 5% undead element damage received. This will be useful when farming in Niflheim since some of the new monsters are of undead elements. Depositing it gives plus 3 magic attack. Next, we have two accessory cards. The Scarecrow card gives plus 10% damage to undead element monsters. Similar to the Loot card, this will find utility when farming in Niflheim. Then the Coof card gives plus 2% M death and plus 15 M death. Next, we have two Garment cards. First up, the Hylozuis card gives plus 2% physical damage reduction, while the Dolahan card gives less 15% fire damage received and plus 10% damage for the overbrand skill of Royal Guards. Another card for the headgear is the Gibbet card which gives plus 10% M death and plus 200 max HP. The loot or unlock reward for this card is plus 12 attack. Okay, now for the MVP and mini cards, we have the Piper card for the footgear which will give plus 5 on crit, agility, and dexterity. This is good for the ADL build. It will also give plus 5% movement speed. Next, for the armor cards, we have the Lolly Yuri card, which gives plus 1000 max HP and plus 15% chance to self cast level 10 heal when attacked. And then the Wolf Grandma card, which gives plus 25% debuff resistance. Furthermore, when debuffed, this will give plus 25% physical and magic damage reduction. Its deposit effect will also give plus 5% physical and magic damage reduction when debuffed, but only if another Wolf Grandma card is equipped. Next, we have two weapon cards. The Bloody Murderer card gives plus 7 crit and plus 12% critical damage. In addition, doing normal attacks will give plus 10% chance to enter the hemorrhage state, wherein critical attacks will give plus 5% normal attack damage for 5 seconds. Lastly, for the field cards, the Lord of the Death card will give plus 8% chance to stun, curse, silence, poison, and bleed the target for 3 seconds when doing melee attacks. Furthermore, there is a 20% additional damage on targets inflicted with the status effects. Alright, so far we've already tackled all the King Pouring and field cards. As a bonus, we'll also have additional weapon cards from the vending machine since in the next episode, Guild facilities would have a level cap extension. First up, the castle card gives plus 500 max HP when inlaid in the weapon and will give less 3% damage received from players in PvP and GVG as an unlock reward. This can be obtained from a level 13 guild vending machine. Lastly, the guardian card gives plus 500 max HP when inlaid in the weapon and would give additional 3% damage to players in PvP and GVG as an unlock reward. This can be obtained from a level 15 guild vending machine. Alright, so far we discussed all the upcoming cards that will be released in Episode 5. We've touched on cards that can be crafted through King Pouring, the cards that can be obtained from the field, as well as the cards that will be available in the guild vending machine. Just know that the exact names may be translated differently once the patch is released in the sea and global servers. However, all the stats, crafting recipes, and effects will most likely be the same. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.